Welcome back. Today, let's talk about a bit of news, a bit of industry insider news, which is 1-800 contact lenses, the website that sells contact lenses online, has bought 6 over 6, which is an Israeli company that makes all kinds of software. Some of it is geared towards replacing the traditional eye exam that you go for at the retail optometrist. And this is super interesting as a behind the scenes kind of thing, because what's going on is there is a fight right now, a war between the online lens selling and the brick and mortar retail lens selling. And the main thing that online lens sellers want to accomplish is remove this prescription thing from the grasp of the retail seller. Because the only, the way that glasses are being sold to you at retail is by this quote unquote eye exam, which is called a prescription, which obviously it's not because your eyes aren't ill or sick or broken. And myopia is just a measurement of distance to blur. So there's nothing complex or difficult about this, which makes this all the more interesting. But what retail optometry has is as long as this prescription thing exists, as long as it's required, you have to go there to get an eye exam. And while you're go all there, already there to get an eye exam, you're now in the sales process because the eye exam is really sales. They're selling you the quote unquote prescription, which is a 200, 300, $500 pair of lenses, which costs them $2 at wholesale, right? And that's the focus of this war that's going on. The $2 that it costs to make these lenses and the hundred dollars you can sell them for or even if you sell them on the internet for 20 that's still 10 times markup right like that is a huge profit margin there's a profit margin that is highly unusual in the internet retail space and that is something that is highly desirable and the only thing missing is removing the whole retail prescription thing and that is happening that is absolutely happening i've been saying it's happening this acquisition is another big move in that direction because what 1-800 Contacts clearly wants to do here is they want to remove the retail optometrist out of the equation, which is fantastic news for everybody because one, you'll be free to buy your glasses wherever you want. And two, you're going to have a lot more control over how many doctors you want, right? If you want to reduce your myopia, if you want to just control your myopia progression, right? Like if you don't want to get higher myopia and you want, for example, just glasses for your close up so you don't get hyperopic to focus so your myopia doesn't actually get worse, then you'll be able to do that online or more likely be able to do that online than you can do right now in this old timey retail settings where some retail optometrist insists on only what they say the correction that you should have is the correction you're going to get. So removing that power from the retail is going to give you a huge amount of freedom and is also going to open up this playing field that's been controlled mafia-like by the retail lens sales industry so far. There's been millions of dollars in lobbying spent to have this whole prescription thing where there's so many over-the-counter actual drugs that you can buy that are that are pretty risky if you take too many of them that require some amount of self-diagnosis of actual conditions that you can just buy, right? Like that you don't need a doctor for. But a clear curve piece of plastic that costs $2 has been lobbied into this prescription thing, successfully protecting a huge amount of profit. And the problem and the thing that's gonna kill retail optometry is this profit, right? It's too much money. There's too much money being made on the retail level and it's outdated technology, it's outdated everything, it's outdated pricing models, right? Where everything is going online, like you can buy stuff online, you can buy it much cheaper, much more efficiently. You don't have to drive somewhere and park somewhere and deal with somebody who may be arrogant or dismissive or not helpful. You can order glasses from the comfort of your own home and when an eye exam, again, myopia is just distance to blur. Right? Like if you're not familiar with this in myopia, lots more links below. But the only measurement that the optometrist does in an eye exam for myopia is how far can you see clearly before this blur? That's all. And the amazing simplicity of this, the fact that you're only measuring distance to blur means it's ripe for an app to take over that quote unquote prescription, that measurement of distance, right? Because there's nothing to it. So the huge profit on one hand, and on the other hand, that the only thing they're hanging on to is they're measuring how far you can see before there's blur, 
right? That is, that is not a very strongly protected position for retail optometry because once it boils down to, once an app can measure your distance to blur effectively, right? And you can go to the FDA and you can prove that this is an effective measurement exactly as a retail optometrist, which is not hard to do with today's smartphone technology, and you get approval, then that show is over. Then nobody needs to go to the retail optometrist anymore. Nobody has to subject themselves to the sales pitch, which is all it is for a $200 pair of glasses, and you can buy this stuff online. And that's going to remove this whole mafia thing that, that we're affected by to some extent because we're limited how much we can talk about myopia control, about, about stopping myopia progression, about reversing myopia. Even though it's a science topic, lobbying, right, and aggressively silencing people and a lot of bullying. If you look at Reddit, Reddit uh, subreddit optometry, anything posted by us, about us, and myopia, doesn't matter what it is, science, anything that's positive is deleted. They delete anything and everything that we talk about unless it's negative or bullying or dismissive or trying to disprove it. It's, there's a really aggressive strategy there of silencing the fact that myopia is not a genetic condition, right? And then it's reversible. And that's of course the whole end myopia subject. But the fascinating bit is the thing that's preventing us to talk more and the thing that's preventing you from buying the glasses you want and or need is this whole created by lobbies law that it's a prescription and that you have to drive to a retail shop in a mall, which is all it is, and have a guy tell you what you need, how far you can see before this blur, and then spend hundreds of dollars on a thing that costs next to nothing. So this is amazing news. This is not the only piece of this news. There's a bunch more acquisitions going on. Uh, these, the lens manufacturers at the same time are trying to consolidate their position. They're trying to consolidate the, the, uh, the retail side of it, right? Like they don't really want to sell the lenses for $2 to a guy who then sells them for $200. They want to make that profit also, right? Like so there's, there's, there's acquisitions by lens manufacturers of e-commerce retailers and then there's acquisitions from e-commerce retailers of these eye exam options, right? And that's where it's headed. This is the, just the days before Uber came, this is just the days before Airbnb came, this is just the days before the internet takes over yet another retail industry that's been complacent, that's been rude and arrogant and dismissive and taking advantage of people because they own that market. Think of taxis, right? Like taxi drivers, if you ever grabbed a taxi in New York, wasn't necessarily a pleasant experience. Uber came around and murdered that business because that business was not serving the customer as well as it could have. The same thing is happening with retail optometry and I am personally very excited about this. That's it for this one. If you like this video, if you like this kind of video, uh, this is all, there's also a blog post on this in the blog. If you prefer these kinds of verbal rants on my part, let me know and I'll make more of them. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.